Lesson 1, Morning Fruit Shopping Good morning, Anna. The sun is shining, and it's a beautiful day. Can we head out to grab some fresh fruits? Good morning, John. Absolutely, it's a perfect day for some fruit shopping. I was just about to ask if you wanted to go. Let's find some delicious fruits to enjoy. That's great, Anna. I'm craving some juicy and refreshing fruits. It's always a pleasure to choose them firsthand and support local farmers. I couldn't agree more, John. There's something special about hand-picking fruits and knowing that they're freshly harvested. It adds to the overall experience. Definitely, Anna. The taste and quality of freshly picked fruits are unmatched. Plus, it's a wonderful opportunity to explore different varieties and discover new flavors. Absolutely, John. I love trying different fruits and expanding my palate. It's like embarking on a culinary adventure right in the produce section. I couldn't have said it better, Anna. It's amazing how many unique and exotic fruits we can find. Each one has its own distinct taste and texture. That's the beauty of nature's bounty, John. It offers us a wide array of fruits with varying colors, shapes, and flavors. It's a feast for the senses. Indeed, Anna. And not only are fruits delicious, but they're also packed with essential nutrients and vitamins. It's a win-win for our taste buds and our health. Absolutely, John. Fruits are nature's gift to us, providing both nourishment and delight. It's important to incorporate them into our daily diet for a balanced lifestyle. You're absolutely right, Anna. They make for a perfect snack, a refreshing addition to meals, or even a delightful ingredient in various recipes. That's the versatility of fruits, John. From salads to smoothies, desserts to savory dishes, they can elevate any culinary creation. I'm looking forward to exploring the fruit section and discovering what catches my eye today, Anna. I'm open to trying something new and exciting. That's the spirit, John. Let's keep an open mind and embrace the surprises that await us. Who knows, we might stumble upon a new favorite fruit. Absolutely, Anna. It's all about embracing the joy of discovery and savoring the simple pleasures that nature provides. Let's head out and begin our fruit-filled adventure. I'm excited, John. Let's make the most of this beautiful day and bring back a basket full of colorful and delicious fruits to enjoy. Off we go. Let's go, Anna. Here's to a fruitful morning and a bounty of nature's sweetness. May our fruit shopping be a delightful and tasty experience. Lesson 2, Capturing the Golden Hour Anna, I have some photography advice to share. Have you heard of the golden hour? It's a magical time for capturing stunning photos. Yes, John. The golden hour is often referred to as the hour before sunset or after. The lighting during that time is absolutely beautiful and adds a warm, golden glow to the surroundings. That's right, Anna. The soft, diffused light during the golden hour creates a captivating atmosphere. It's perfect for landscape photography, portraits, and even architectural shots. 
I've heard that the golden hour can transform an ordinary scene into something extraordinary. The colors become more vibrant, and the shadows add depth and dimension. Absolutely, Anna. The low angle of the sun during that time creates long, dramatic shadows, enhancing the overall composition of the photograph. It's fascinating how the golden hour can evoke different moods and emotions in a photograph. It's like nature's own filter, adding a touch of magic to the image. That's a great way to put it, Anna. The golden hour allows us to capture the world in a different light, quite literally. It's a time when everything seems to glow. I've always wanted to try photographing during the golden hour, John. The photos I've seen taken during that time are truly breathtaking. You should definitely give it a try, Anna. It's worth waking up early or staying out late to experience the golden hour firsthand and capture its beauty with your camera. I will, John. I can imagine how serene and peaceful it must be to witness the world bathed in that warm, golden light. It's a tranquil and magical experience, Anna. The golden hour also presents unique opportunities for silhouettes and backlighting, creating striking and artistic images. I love the idea of experimenting with different subjects and compositions during the golden hour. It seems like a time when creativity can truly flourish. Absolutely, Anna. The golden hour offers a playground for creativity and exploration. It's a chance to push the boundaries of our photography and see the world in a new way. I'll make a note to schedule some photography outings during the golden hour, John. It sounds like a fantastic way to improve my skills and capture memorable shots. That's a wonderful plan, Anna. Embrace the golden hour, and I'm sure you'll be amazed by the results. It's a golden opportunity to take your photography to the next level. Thank you for sharing this advice, John. I appreciate it. I'm excited to embrace the golden hour and capture the beauty it offers. You're welcome, Anna. I'm glad I could introduce you to the wonders of the golden hour. Happy shooting, and may your photographs be bathed in the golden light of creativity. Lesson 3, Saving Money Without Sacrificing Quality Anna, I've been thinking about ways to save money without compromising on quality. It's important to find a balance, don't you think? Absolutely, John. It's all about making smart choices and finding alternatives that allow us to save without sacrificing the quality of the things we value. I couldn't agree more, Anna. One way to achieve that is by researching and comparing prices before making a purchase. It helps us find the best deal without compromising on quality. That's a great approach, John. Sometimes, a little bit of extra effort in researching can lead us to discover more affordable options without compromising on the quality we desire. Exactly, Anna. Another strategy is to prioritize our needs over our wants. By distinguishing between essential and non-essential items, we can allocate our resources wisely. Absolutely, John. It's important to separate our needs from our wants and focus on what truly matters. By doing so, we can save money and ensure we're spending on things that bring value to our lives.
Another way to save money is by embracing a minimalist mindset. By decluttering and simplifying our lives, we can avoid unnecessary expenses and focus on what truly brings us joy and fulfillment. I completely agree with you, John. Adopting a minimalist lifestyle can help us prioritize quality over quantity and reduce the urge to make impulsive purchases. Additionally, Anna, it's worth considering buying secondhand or pre-owned items. Many times, we can find high-quality products at a fraction of the original price. That's a great point, John. Buying secondhand not only saves money but also promotes sustainability by giving items a second life. It's a win-win situation. Absolutely, Anna. And when it comes to groceries and daily essentials, it's wise to compare prices, use coupons, and take advantage of sales or bulk discounts. Quality doesn't always come with a hefty price tag. You're absolutely right, John. By being mindful of our spending habits and seeking out discounts or promotions, we can save money on everyday items without compromising on the quality we expect. Another tip is to cook meals at home instead of dining out. Not only is it more cost-effective, but it also gives us control over the ingredients and allows us to enjoy homemade meals of high quality. I couldn't agree more, John. Cooking at home not only saves money, but also gives us the opportunity to experiment with different recipes and flavors. It can be a fun and rewarding experience. Absolutely, Anna. And when it comes to entertainment, we can explore free or low-cost activities such as hiking, picnics, or visiting local parks and museums. Quality experiences don't always have to come with a hefty price tag. That's a great suggestion, John. Nature and cultural experiences can be just as fulfilling and enriching without breaking the bank. It's all about finding joy in simple pleasures. Exactly, Anna. Saving money without sacrificing quality is about being mindful, making informed choices, and finding value in the things that truly matter to us. I couldn't have said it better, John. It's about aligning our spending with our values and priorities. By doing so, we can live a fulfilling life while still being financially responsible. Absolutely, Anna. It's all about finding that sweet spot where we can save money without compromising on the quality and experiences that bring us happiness and fulfillment. Well said, John. Here's to making smart financial decisions and finding the perfect balance between saving money and enjoying the quality of life we desire. Let's embark on this journey together. Cheers to that, Anna. Let's empower ourselves with financial wisdom and make choices that align with our goals and values. May our pursuit of quality and savings lead us to a fulfilling and prosperous future. Lesson 4. Temptations of Sales Discounts Anna, I must admit, the discounts during sales are incredibly tempting. It's hard to resist the allure of a good deal, don't you think? Absolutely, John. It's natural to be drawn to discounts and sales. The prospect of saving money can be quite enticing and make us feel like we're getting a great bargain. That's true, Anna. However, it's important to approach sales with caution and make sure we're not buying things we don't actually need just because they're on sale. You're absolutely right, John. 
Sometimes, the excitement of a discount can blind us to the fact that we're spending money on something we wouldn't have bought otherwise. Exactly, Anna. It's essential to distinguish between impulse purchases and genuine needs. We should ask ourselves if the discounted item aligns with our long-term goals and if it's something we truly value. That's a great point, John. It's important to consider the value and utility of the discounted item in our lives. If it doesn't serve a purpose or bring us joy, the discount may not be worth it. Additionally, Anna, it's crucial to compare prices and do some research before jumping into a sale. Sometimes, what seems like a great discount may not be the best deal available. Absolutely, John. It's wise to shop around and compare prices to ensure we're getting the best possible deal. Just because something is on sale doesn't automatically mean it's the most cost-effective option. Another thing to keep in mind is the quality of the discounted item. Sometimes, prices are reduced because the product is of lower quality or nearing its expiration date. That's a valid concern, John. We should always consider the quality and durability of the discounted item. It's better to invest in something of higher quality, even if it means paying a little more. Exactly, Anna. It's important to strike a balance between price and quality. Sometimes, it's worth spending a bit more to ensure that the item will last longer and provide better value in the long run. I couldn't agree more, John. Quality should never be compromised for the sake of a discount. It's better to invest in items that will serve us well and stand the test of time. Absolutely, Anna. And when it comes to sales, it's helpful to set a budget and stick to it. This way, we can enjoy the benefits of discounts without overspending or getting carried away. That's a great tip, John. Setting a budget keeps us grounded and prevents impulse buying. It allows us to take advantage of discounts while still maintaining control over our finances. Another thing to consider is whether the discounted item fits into our lifestyle and existing possessions. It's important to avoid clutter and only bring things into our lives that truly add value. You're absolutely right, John. We should be mindful of our living space and avoid accumulating things just because they're on sale. Our environment should be a reflection of what truly matters to us. Additionally, Anna, it's worth considering the emotional aspect of sales. Sometimes, the thrill of getting a discount can lead to impulsive buying, and we may end up regretting our purchase later. That's a valid point, John. It's important to be aware of our emotions and make rational decisions when it comes to sales. Taking a step back and evaluating our true needs can help us avoid buyer's remorse. Absolutely, Anna. By being mindful of our emotions and considering the long-term value of our purchases, we can make informed choices during sales and avoid unnecessary regrets. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's approach sales with a discerning eye and make conscious decisions that align with our values and financial well-being. It's all about finding the right balance. Well said, Anna. Here's to navigating the temptations of sales discounts with wisdom and restraint. May we make choices that truly enhance our lives and financial stability. Lesson 5, The Nearby Gym 
Anna, did you know that there's a good gym nearby? It's just a couple of blocks away. Really, John? That's great news. Having a gym close by makes it more convenient to prioritize our health and fitness. Absolutely, Anna. It's important to have easy access to a gym where we can engage in regular exercise and take care of our physical well-being. I completely agree, John. Regular exercise not only helps us stay fit but also improves our overall health and boosts our mood. Definitely, Anna. And having a gym nearby eliminates the excuse of distance or lack of time. We can squeeze in a workout during our daily routine without much hassle. That's true, John. The convenience of a nearby gym means we can make exercise a consistent part of our lives, even on busy days. Exactly, Anna. And the variety of equipment and classes offered at the gym can provide us with a well-rounded fitness experience. That's a great point, John. Having access to different exercise equipment and classes allows us to explore and find activities that we truly enjoy and that suit our fitness goals. Absolutely, Anna. It's important to find activities that we find enjoyable and sustainable in the long run. That way, we're more likely to stick to our fitness routine. I couldn't agree more, John. Enjoying the exercise we do makes it easier to stay motivated and committed to our fitness journey. Additionally, Anna, being part of a gym community can provide us with support and motivation. We can connect with like-minded individuals and share our fitness goals. That's true, John. Surrounding ourselves with people who have similar goals can create a positive and encouraging environment, making our fitness journey more enjoyable. Definitely, Anna. And let's not forget about the professional guidance and expertise available at the gym. Trainers and instructors can help us maximize our workouts and ensure proper form and technique. Absolutely, John. Having access to professional guidance can help us avoid injuries and make the most out of our exercise sessions. It adds an extra layer of safety and effectiveness. You're absolutely right, Anna. It's important to prioritize our safety and well-being when engaging in physical activities. The guidance of professionals can make a significant difference. Definitely, John. And having a gym nearby also opens up opportunities for trying out new activities and classes that we may not have considered before. That's a great point, Anna. The variety of classes offered at the gym can introduce us to new workout styles and help us discover activities that we find both challenging and enjoyable. I completely agree, John. It's always exciting to step out of our comfort zones and try something new. The gym provides us with a platform to explore different fitness avenues. Absolutely, Anna. And let's not forget about the amenities that many gyms offer, such as showers, lockers, and relaxation areas. They enhance our overall gym experience. That's true, John. The amenities provided by the gym add to our convenience and comfort, making it easier to incorporate fitness into our daily lives. Exactly, Anna. Having a good gym nearby is like having a fitness haven right at our doorstep.
It's a valuable resource that can contribute to our overall well-being. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's make the most of the nearby gym and prioritize our health and fitness. It's an investment in ourselves that yields long-term benefits. Well said, Anna. Here's to embracing the opportunity of having a gym nearby and taking proactive steps towards a healthier and fitter lifestyle. May our fitness journeys be filled with strength, progress, and fulfillment. Lesson 6, Exploring Downtown and Online Boutiques Anna, I was thinking, should we go downtown and check out some local boutiques? Or maybe we can explore online boutiques for some unique finds. Any specific colors or patterns you're interested in? That sounds like a great idea, John. I'm open to both options. As for colors and patterns, I've been drawn to earthy tones and floral prints lately. How about you? Earthy tones and floral prints sound lovely, Anna. I'm also interested in exploring more vibrant colors and geometric patterns. It would be exciting to discover new styles and add some variety to our wardrobes. Definitely, John. Exploring different styles and adding variety can help us express our individuality and keep our fashion choices fresh. I'm looking forward to discovering unique pieces. Absolutely, Anna. And going downtown can provide us with a hands-on shopping experience. We can feel the fabrics, try on clothes, and get a better sense of the quality and fit. That's true, John. There's something special about the tactile experience of shopping in person. It allows us to fully engage with the clothes and make more informed decisions. Exactly, Anna. However, online boutiques also have their advantages. They offer a wider range of options, and we can shop from the comfort of our own homes. I couldn't agree more, John. Online shopping provides convenience and accessibility. Plus, we can easily compare prices and read reviews to ensure a satisfactory purchase. That's a great point, Anna. It's important to have a balance between the convenience of online shopping and the personal touch of in-person experiences. Both avenues have their merits. Absolutely, John. And when exploring boutiques, it's helpful to have a general idea of what we're looking for. It narrows down our choices and makes the shopping experience more focused. You're absolutely right, Anna. Having a clear vision of the colors and patterns we're interested in helps us navigate through the options and find pieces that truly resonate with our style. Definitely, John. It saves time and prevents us from getting overwhelmed by the abundance of choices. Knowing what we want makes the shopping process more efficient. Additionally, Anna, it's worth considering our existing wardrobe and identifying any gaps that need to be filled. This way, we can make purposeful purchases that complement our existing pieces. That's a valid point, John. By assessing our wardrobe and identifying gaps, we can make more intentional choices and ensure that the new pieces we acquire are versatile and cohesive. Absolutely, Anna. It's about curating a wardrobe that reflects our personal style and makes getting dressed a joyful experience. Quality over quantity and pieces that truly resonate with us.
I couldn't agree more, John. Our wardrobes should be a reflection of our individuality and bring us joy every time we put together an outfit. It's about finding pieces that make us feel confident and comfortable. Definitely, Anna. Let's approach our shopping expedition, whether in person or online, with a mix of excitement and intention. May we discover pieces that enhance our personal style and make us feel our best. Well said, John. Here's to embracing the joy of exploring downtown boutiques and online stores. May our fashion journeys be filled with creativity, self-expression, and a sense of discovery. Cheers to that, Anna. Let's embark on this fashion adventure with open minds and open hearts. May we find treasures that reflect our unique tastes and elevate our personal style. Lesson 7, Exploring Accommodations and Transportation Options Anna, as we plan our upcoming trip, let's discuss accommodations and transportation options. Do you have any preferences or ideas? Absolutely, John. I think it would be great to experience the local culture and immerse ourselves in the destination. Staying in a local guest house or a bed and breakfast could provide a more authentic experience. I completely agree, Anna. Local goose houses and bed and breakfasts often offer a more personal touch and a chance to interact with the locals. It adds an extra dimension to our travel experience. Definitely, John. Plus, the hosts at these accommodations can offer valuable insights and recommendations about the local area, such as hidden gems and off-the-beaten-path attractions. That's a great point, Anna. Having access to local knowledge can enhance our exploration and help us discover unique places and experiences that may not be mentioned in guidebooks. Absolutely, John. Now, let's consider transportation options. Depending on the destination, we could rent bicycles or scooters to get around and explore at our own pace. That sounds adventurous, Anna. Renting bicycles or scooters can give us the freedom to explore the destination more intimately. We can discover hidden alleys and scenic routes. Exactly, John. It's a great way to immerse ourselves in the local atmosphere and witness the everyday life of the place we're visiting. Plus, it's eco-friendly too. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Another option to consider is using public transportation. It allows us to mingle with the locals and experience the city's rhythm firsthand. That's true, John. Public transportation can be an efficient and cost-effective way to get around. Plus, it gives us a chance to observe the local culture and interact with fellow travelers. Definitely, Anna. It's an opportunity to see the destination through the eyes of its residents and gain a deeper understanding of their way of life. Absolutely, John. And in some cities, walking can be a wonderful mode of transportation. It allows us to stumble upon hidden gems, take in the architecture, and appreciate the details of the city. That's a great point, Anna. Walking gives us the chance to slow down and savor the moments. It's a way to truly immerse ourselves in the destination, one step at a time. I completely agree, John. 
Now, let's not forget about the convenience of ride-sharing services or taxis when we need to cover longer distances or have limited time. You're absolutely right, Anna. Ride-sharing services or taxis can be a reliable and efficient option, especially when we have specific destinations in mind or need to travel with luggage. Definitely, John. It's important to weigh the pros and cons of each transportation option based on the destination, our preferences, and the activities we have planned. Absolutely, Anna. It's all about finding a balance between convenience, authenticity, and the desire to immerse ourselves in the local culture. Each option offers a unique experience. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's make thoughtful choices when it comes to accommodations and transportation, ensuring that they align with our travel goals and enhance our overall experience. Well said, Anna. Here's to embracing the adventure of exploring accommodations and transportation options. May our choices contribute to a memorable and enriching travel experience, filled with authenticity and discovery. Lesson 8, Offering Guidance and Support Anna, I heard you have an important presentation coming up. If you need any guidance or support, I'm here to help. You'll do great. Thank you, John. I appreciate your offer. I've been feeling a bit nervous about it, but knowing that you're there to support me gives me confidence. That's what friends are for, Anna. Don't worry, you've prepared well, and your knowledge and expertise will shine through. Just remember to stay calm and believe in yourself. Your words mean a lot to me, John. Sometimes, a little encouragement goes a long way in boosting one's confidence. I'll keep your advice in mind and trust in my abilities. Absolutely, Anna. Confidence is key. Remember to speak clearly and engage your audience. You have a wealth of knowledge to share, and they'll appreciate your expertise. Thank you for reminding me of that, John. It's important to connect with the audience and make the presentation engaging. I'll do my best to keep them interested and involved. I have no doubt that you'll captivate your audience, Anna. Your passion for the subject matter will shine through, and that's what truly engages people. Your faith in me is truly uplifting, John. I'll channel my passion and enthusiasm into the presentation, making it informative and inspiring for everyone listening. That's the spirit, Anna. Remember to take deep breaths and maintain a steady pace. Pausing at key moments can help emphasize your points and allow the audience to absorb the information. I'll keep that in mind, John. Pausing strategically can add impact to my presentation and give the audience time to reflect on the key takeaways. Thank you for the valuable tip. No problem, Anna. I'm happy to help. Another suggestion is to anticipate questions that might arise and prepare well-thought-out answers. It shows your expertise and preparedness. That's a great suggestion, John. Being prepared for questions demonstrates that I've thoroughly researched the topic. It also shows that I value the audience's engagement and want to provide them with valuable insights. Exactly, Anna. 
And even if you encounter a question you're unsure about, don't be afraid to say, I'll look into that and get back to you. It's an honest and professional response. I appreciate your advice, John. It's reassuring to know that I can be honest if I don't have an immediate answer. It's better to provide accurate information rather than guessing. Absolutely, Anna. Honesty and integrity are important in any professional setting. Remember, you're an expert in your field, and your presentation will showcase your knowledge and expertise. Thank you for reminding me of that, John. I'll carry that confidence with me as I step into the presentation. Your support and guidance have truly made a difference. I'm glad to hear that, Anna. You're a capable and talented individual, and I have no doubt that you'll deliver an outstanding presentation. Believe in yourself, and the rest will fall into place. Your belief in me has given me the boost I needed, John. I'll give it my all and make you proud. Thank you for being such a supportive friend. You're more than welcome, Anna. I'm always here to support you. Remember, you've got this. Trust in yourself and you'll shine brightly. Good luck with your presentation. Lesson 9, Overcoming Challenges and Being Prepared Anna, I've noticed that you've faced some challenges recently. How did you manage to overcome them? It hasn't been easy, John, but I've learned to approach challenges with a proactive mindset. Planning ahead and being prepared has been key in overcoming them. That's a smart approach, Anna. Planning ahead allows you to anticipate potential obstacles and develop strategies to tackle them effectively. It's a great way to stay ahead of the game. Absolutely, John. By planning ahead, I can identify potential pitfalls and develop contingency plans. It gives me a sense of control and confidence in handling unexpected situations. That's fantastic, Anna. Being prepared not only helps you navigate challenges but also gives you the ability to adapt and make quick decisions when needed. You're absolutely right, John. It's important to be flexible and open to adjusting our plans if necessary. Being prepared allows me to think on my feet and find alternative solutions. Adaptability is a valuable skill, Anna. It enables us to overcome obstacles and find new ways to achieve our goals. It's great to see how you've embraced that mindset. Thank you, John. I've also learned that breaking down challenges into smaller, manageable tasks makes them less daunting. It allows me to focus on one step at a time. That's a brilliant strategy, Anna. By breaking down challenges, you can tackle them more effectively and track your progress along the way. It's a recipe for success. I couldn't agree more, John. Celebrating small victories along the way also keeps me motivated and boosts my confidence to continue overcoming challenges. That's a great point, Anna. Acknowledging and celebrating progress, no matter how small, is important for maintaining a positive mindset and staying motivated. Absolutely, John. Another thing that has helped me overcome challenges is seeking support and advice from others. It's crucial to remember that we don't have to face challenges alone.
You're absolutely right, Anna. Seeking guidance and support from others provides fresh perspectives and insights. It can help us find innovative solutions and overcome obstacles more efficiently. I've also learned that it's important to learn from past experiences. Reflecting on how I've handled challenges in the past helps me gain valuable lessons and apply them to new situations. Reflecting on past experiences is a powerful tool, Anna. It allows us to learn from our mistakes, identify patterns, and develop strategies that have proven to be effective in the past. Definitely, John. Learning from our mistakes and applying those lessons moving forward helps us grow and become more resilient in the face of future challenges. Resilience is key, Anna. It's the ability to bounce back from setbacks and keep moving forward. I can see how your proactive mindset and preparedness have contributed to your resilience. Thank you, John. Developing resilience has been a journey, but it's empowering to know that I have the tools and strategies to overcome challenges and come out stronger on the other side. I'm glad to see your growth, Anna. Overcoming challenges is a testament to your determination and resourcefulness. Keep up the great work, and remember that I'm here to support you whenever you need it. Lesson 10, Creating a Cozy Reading Nook Anna, do you have a cozy reading nook at home? I've been thinking about creating one myself. Yes, I do, John. In fact, I designed it myself. It's a perfect little corner where I can escape into the world of books and relax. That sounds wonderful, Anna. I've been looking for a quiet space where I can unwind and indulge in my favorite books. How did you go about designing your reading nook? Well, John, the first step was finding a cozy spot in my home with good natural light. I wanted a place where I could read comfortably without any distractions. That makes sense, Anna. Good lighting is essential for a reading nook. I'll keep that in mind when selecting the perfect spot in my home. Once I found the spot, I added a comfortable chair with soft cushions and a warm blanket. It's important to have a cozy seating arrangement where you can curl up with a good book. A comfortable chair and a warm blanket sound inviting, Anna. I'll make sure to prioritize comfort when choosing the furniture for my reading nook. I also incorporated some shelves or a small bookcase nearby to keep my favorite books within easy reach. It's convenient to have them organized and readily available. Having shelves or a bookcase nearby is a great idea, Anna. I love the idea of having my favorite books close by, making it easy to grab one whenever I feel like reading. Additionally, I decorated the space with some personal touches, such as artwork, plants, and soft lighting. It creates a cozy and inviting atmosphere that enhances the reading experience. Personal touches like artwork and plants definitely add warmth and character to a reading nook, Anna. I'll make sure to incorporate those elements to make the space feel more personal. Lastly, I designated a side table or a small surface for a cup of tea or coffee. It's nice to have a hot beverage within reach while immersing myself in a book. Having a side table or a surface for a cup of tea or coffee is a practical idea, Anna. 
It adds that extra touch of comfort and convenience to the Reading Nook experience. Absolutely, John. Creating a cozy Reading Nook is all about making it a personal and inviting space that allows you to relax and fully immerse yourself in the joy of reading. I couldn't agree more, Anna. It's important to create a space that reflects our personal taste and preferences, making it a haven where we can escape into the world of books. Indeed, John. I'm sure with a little creativity and attention to detail, you'll be able to design a reading nook that perfectly suits your needs and brings you endless reading pleasure. Thank you for the inspiration and guidance, Anna. I'm excited to start working on my own cozy reading nook now. I can't wait to curl up with a good book and get lost in its pages. Lesson 11, Convenience and Variety of Products Anna, have you ever shopped at that new online store everyone is talking about? I heard they have a wide variety of products. Yes, John, I've tried it out, and it's very convenient. They indeed offer a vast selection of products to choose from. That's great to hear, Anna. Convenience is essential when it comes to online shopping. It saves time and allows us to explore a wide range of options from the comfort of our homes. Absolutely, John. With just a few clicks, we can browse through different categories and find exactly what we're looking for. It's incredibly convenient and efficient. Convenience is a game-changer, Anna. It eliminates the need to visit multiple stores physically and provides access to products that may not be readily available locally. You're absolutely right, John. The online store I've shopped at also has a user-friendly interface, making it easy to navigate and find specific products or even discover new ones. User-friendly interfaces are key, Anna. They enhance the overall shopping experience and make it more enjoyable. It's great when an online store prioritizes ease of use. Definitely, John. In addition to convenience, the wide variety of products they offer is impressive. It caters to different preferences and allows us to explore new options. Having a wide variety of products is a major advantage, Anna. It ensures that there's something for everyone and provides opportunities to try new things we may not have considered before. That's true, John. I've discovered unique and interesting products through this online store that I wouldn't have found elsewhere. It's exciting to have such a diverse selection. It sounds like a treasure trove of possibilities, Anna. I love the idea of exploring new products and finding hidden gems that add value to our lives. Absolutely, John. They also offer detailed product descriptions and customer reviews, which help in making informed decisions. It's great to have that additional information at hand. Detailed product descriptions and customer reviews are incredibly helpful, Anna. They provide valuable insights and give us a better understanding of the products we're interested in. I couldn't agree more, John. It's reassuring to know that other customers' experiences and feedback can guide our purchasing decisions and contribute to a satisfying shopping experience. Customer feedback is invaluable, Anna. It adds an extra layer of transparency and helps build trust in the online store.
It's great when a platform values customer opinions. Absolutely, John. The combination of convenience, a wide variety of products, user-friendly interfaces, and customer feedback makes shopping at this online store a positive and enjoyable experience. It sounds like a winning combination, Anna. I'll definitely give it a try and see what they have to offer. Thank you for sharing your experience and recommendation. Lesson 12, Health, the Environment, and Organic Food. Anna, I've been thinking a lot about the connection between our health and the environment. It's crucial to consider the impact of our choices, don't you agree? Absolutely, John. Our health and the environment are closely intertwined. The choices we make regarding what we consume can have a significant impact on both. That's true, Anna. One way to promote both our health and the environment is by opting for organic food. It's a win-win situation. I couldn't agree more, John. Organic food is grown without the use of synthetic pesticides and fertilizers, which not only benefits our health, but also reduces harm to the environment. It's incredible how organic farming practices prioritize sustainability and natural ecosystems, Anna. They promote soil health and biodiversity, which are crucial for a balanced environment. Absolutely, John. By choosing organic food, we support farmers who employ sustainable farming methods and contribute to the preservation of our ecosystems. That's an important point, Anna. Supporting sustainable agriculture helps create a healthier planet for future generations, which is a cause we should all be passionate about. Definitely, John. Additionally, organic food often contains higher levels of nutrients and antioxidants compared to conventionally grown counterparts, which can positively impact our health. That's fascinating, Anna. It's encouraging to know that organic food not only benefits the environment but also provides us with more nutritious options for a healthier lifestyle. Yes, John. Plus, organic food is free from genetically modified organisms, GMOs, which some people may prefer to avoid due to potential health and environmental concerns. Avoiding GMOs is a personal choice, Anna, and having the option to select organic food can give individuals peace of mind when it comes to what they're putting on their plates. Absolutely, John. It's empowering to have the ability to make informed choices about the food we consume and its impact on our health and the environment. I couldn't agree more, Anna. It's essential to be mindful of our food choices and strive to make decisions that align with our values and have positive ripple effects. That's the key, John. Each small choice we make, such as opting for organic food, can contribute to a healthier lifestyle and a more sustainable future. It's inspiring to think about the collective impact of our individual choices, Anna. Together, we can make a difference in our own well-being and the well-being of the planet. Absolutely, John. Let's continue to prioritize our health and the environment by making conscious choices, including incorporating more organic food into our diets. I'm on board with that, Anna. 
Let's embrace the benefits of organic food and contribute to a healthier future for ourselves and the world around us. Agreed, John. Here's to making choices that nourish our bodies and nurture the environment. Cheers to a healthier and more sustainable lifestyle. Cheers, Anna. Here's to a brighter and greener future for us all. Lesson 13, Exciting Weekend Trip Anna, I heard you're going on a trip this weekend. That sounds great. Where are you heading? Hi, John. Yes, I'm really excited about it. I'll be heading to the picturesque countryside. It's a lovely location with beautiful landscapes. That sounds amazing, Anna. Exploring the countryside can be so refreshing and rejuvenating. It's a great way to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Absolutely, John. I'm looking forward to immersing myself in nature, taking long walks, and enjoying the tranquility of the surroundings. It sounds like the perfect getaway, Anna. Nature has a way of soothing our souls and providing a much-needed break from our daily routines. You're absolutely right, John. Being surrounded by nature has a calming effect and allows us to reconnect with ourselves and appreciate the beauty around us. That's so true, Anna. Nature has a way of reminding us of the wonders of the world and putting things into perspective. I couldn't agree more, John. Plus, this countryside location has some breathtaking hiking trails. I can't wait to explore them and soak in the natural beauty. Hiking is such a fantastic way to experience nature, Anna. It allows us to challenge ourselves physically while enjoying the scenic views along the way. Definitely, John. I love the feeling of accomplishment when reaching the summit of a trail and being rewarded with a stunning panoramic view. It's such a rewarding experience, Anna. The sense of achievement combined with the awe-inspiring vistas makes hiking truly special. Absolutely, John. And you know what's even better? There's a picturesque lake nearby where we can go kayaking and enjoy some water activities. That sounds fantastic, Anna. Kayaking is not only a fun and exhilarating activity but also a great way to appreciate the tranquility of the water and the surrounding nature. I couldn't agree more, John. I can already imagine gliding across the calm waters, surrounded by the serene beauty of the lake. It sounds like a perfect weekend, Anna. Exploring the countryside, hiking in nature, and kayaking on the lake, what more could one ask for? I feel incredibly lucky, John. It's going to be a memorable weekend filled with adventure, relaxation, and the beauty of the great outdoors. I'm genuinely happy for you, Anna. It's important to take time for ourselves and indulge in experiences that bring us joy and rejuvenation. Thank you, John. I couldn't agree more. It's these little getaways that help us recharge and appreciate the wonders of the world around us. Absolutely, Anna. Enjoy every moment of your trip, embrace the beauty of nature, and create lasting memories. Safe travels.
Lesson 14, Planning a Trip Hi there, Anna. I've been thinking about planning a trip. Do you have any tips on where to start? Hi, John. That's exciting. The first step is to determine your destination. Think about the type of experience you want, whether it's a relaxing beach getaway or an adventurous mountain expedition. That makes sense, Anna. I'll consider what kind of trip I'm in the mood for, whether it's exploring a new city, immersing myself in nature, or simply unwinding on a beach. Exactly, John. Once you've decided on the type of trip, it's time to research the potential destinations. Look for information about their attractions, activities, and local culture. Good point, Anna. Researching will help me narrow down my options and find a destination that aligns with my interests and preferences. Absolutely, John. Don't forget to consider practical aspects like the climate, travel requirements, and budget. These factors can greatly influence your decision. That's true, Anna. I'll make sure to check the weather conditions and any necessary travel documents, as well as assess how it fits within my budget. Once you've chosen a destination, it's time to plan your itinerary. Identify the must-see attractions or activities you'd like to experience while allowing for some flexibility. Planning the itinerary sounds important, Anna. It'll help me make the most of my trip and ensure I don't miss out on any must-see sites or experiences. Absolutely, John. Consider including a mix of popular attractions and hidden gems to get a well-rounded experience of the destination. I'll keep that in mind, Anna. It's always exciting to discover hidden gems that offer a unique and authentic perspective of the place I'm visiting. Another crucial aspect is accommodation. Research and book your accommodation in advance to secure the best deals and ensure availability. Good point, Anna. Finding suitable accommodation that fits my preferences and budget is essential for a comfortable and enjoyable trip. Additionally, don't forget to plan your transportation. Whether it's booking flights, arranging for car rentals, or figuring out public transportation, having a clear idea of how to get around is important. Transportation is definitely a key factor, Anna. I'll make sure to consider the most convenient and cost-effective options for reaching my destination and getting around once I'm there. Lastly, don't forget to pack smart. Make a checklist of essentials and pack according to the weather and activities you have planned. Packing efficiently is essential, Anna. I'll create a checklist and ensure I have all the necessary items while also being mindful of any specific requirements based on my destination. That sounds like a solid plan, John. Remember to leave some room for spontaneity and unexpected discoveries during your trip. Sometimes the best experiences happen when you least expect them. That's a great reminder, Anna. I'll keep an open mind and embrace any unexpected adventures that come my way. Thank you for all the helpful tips. You're welcome, John. I'm excited for your trip and can't wait to hear all about your experiences. Enjoy the planning process and have an amazing adventure.
Thank you, Anna. I'll make sure to keep you updated and share all the highlights of my trip. Your tips have been invaluable. Here's to a memorable journey. Lesson 15, Grocery Store Adventure Hey, Anna. I need to head to the grocery store. Want to come along? Hi, John. Sure, I'd love to join you. I could use some groceries too. It'll be fun to shop together. Great. It's always nice to have some company while running errands. Plus, we can catch up and chat along the way. Absolutely, John. It's a great opportunity to spend some time together and have a casual conversation. Let's go. Before we go, do you have a shopping list or anything specific you need to buy, Anna? Yes, I do, John. I made a list of the items I need so I don't forget anything. I find it helps me stay organized and focused. That's a smart approach, Anna. I should start making shopping lists too. It'll save me from wandering around the store aimlessly. It definitely makes the shopping experience more efficient, John. Plus, it helps you remember all the essentials and avoid unnecessary purchases. I'll keep that in mind for future grocery trips. So, which section of the store should we start with, Anna? Produce, dairy, or something else? Let's start with the produce section, John. It's always nice to pick out fresh fruits and vegetables for the week. I agree, Anna. The vibrant colors and fresh aroma of the produce section are quite inviting. It's a great way to kickstart a healthy week. Absolutely. And don't forget to check for seasonal fruits and vegetables. They often have the best flavor and are more budget-friendly. Good point, Anna. I'll keep an eye out for seasonal produce. It's a win-win situation, delicious and cost-effective. After we're done with the produce, we can move on to the other sections like dairy, bakery, and pantry items. Any specific things you need to get, John? I need to stock up on some dairy products, like milk and yogurt. And I'm running low on bread, so I'll grab a loaf from the bakery section. Sounds good, John. I'll make sure to check the dairy section as well. I need some cheese and eggs. Perfect. We can navigate through the aisles together and help each other find the items on our lists. It'll make the shopping experience more enjoyable. Definitely, John. It's always helpful to have a shopping buddy to assist in locating those hard-to-find items. By the way, do you have any specific recipes or meals in mind for the week, Anna? I'm looking to try something new. Actually, I've been experimenting with some new recipes too, John. Let's exchange ideas and maybe we can inspire each other with some delicious meal options. That sounds fantastic, Anna. I'm always up for trying new dishes and expanding my culinary horizons. Let's share our favorite recipes and get inspired. Absolutely, John. 
We can even grab some ingredients we need for those recipes while we're at the store. It's all about culinary adventures. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Shopping for ingredients and then preparing a delicious meal together will be a great way to end our grocery store adventure. It'll be the perfect culmination, John. From picking out fresh produce to discovering new recipes, it's going to be a wonderful shopping experience. I'm glad you're joining me, Anna. It's always more enjoyable to have a friend along for a simple errand like grocery shopping. I feel the same way, John. Any mundane task can turn into an exciting adventure with the right company. Let's make the most of it. Absolutely, Anna. Let's head to the store and embark on our grocery store adventure. I have a feeling it's going to be a fun and memorable trip. Lesson 16, Great Connections. Hi there, Anna. How has your day been so far? I hope everything's going well. Hi, John. Thank you for asking. My day has been pretty good so far. Productive and filled with positive energy. How about you? That's great to hear, Anna. My day has been quite busy, but in a good way. I've been making some great connections with new people, which is always exciting. Making new connections is wonderful, John. It opens up opportunities for growth, learning, and expanding our network. Could you tell me more about the people you've connected with? Sure, Anna. I attended a networking event earlier, and I met some interesting professionals from various industries. We had insightful conversations and exchanged ideas. That sounds fantastic, John. Networking events are perfect for building relationships and exploring potential collaborations. Did you find any common interests or shared goals with these professionals? Absolutely, Anna. I discovered that we share similar passions and interests in our respective fields. It's amazing how connecting with like-minded individuals can spark new ideas and potential partnerships. It truly is, John. Surrounding yourself with individuals who share your enthusiasm and vision can have a tremendous impact on personal and professional growth. It sounds like you've had a rewarding experience. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Engaging with passionate and driven individuals inspires me and motivates me to strive for excellence in my own endeavors. It's a reminder of the power of connections. Definitely, John. Meaningful connections can provide support, encouragement, and valuable insights along our journey. They often lead to exciting collaborations and new opportunities. That's so true, Anna. I believe in the power of collaboration and leveraging each other's strengths to achieve great things. Building strong connections is key to that. Absolutely, John. Collaboration allows us to tap into a diverse range of skills and perspectives. It enables us to accomplish more together than we could ever achieve alone. Precisely, Anna. The power of collaboration lies in the synergy created when individuals with different strengths and expertise come together to work towards a common goal.
It's incredible how collaborative efforts can lead to innovation and breakthroughs, John. When we combine our unique talents and knowledge, we can solve complex problems and create impactful solutions. I completely agree, Anna. The exchange of ideas and perspectives that happens through collaboration often leads to creative solutions that we may not have discovered on our own. That's the beauty of teamwork and collaboration, John. It fosters growth, learning, and the ability to make a meaningful difference in our respective fields. Absolutely, Anna. I'm grateful for the connections I've made today, as they have the potential to shape my future endeavors and contribute to my personal and professional growth. I'm glad to hear that, John. Building strong connections is an ongoing process, and it's wonderful to see the positive impact it's already having on you. Here's to many more great connections and fruitful collaborations in the future. Thank you, Anna. Cheers to that. I look forward to nurturing these connections and exploring the possibilities that lie ahead. Let's continue to embrace the power of connections and grow together. Lesson 17, Morning Assistance. Good morning, Anna. I hope you're having a great start to the day. I wanted to reach out because I need your help with something important today. Good morning, John. Of course, I'm here to help. What do you need assistance with? I'll do my best to support you. Thank you, Anna. I have an important presentation later today, and I need someone to review the content and provide feedback. Would you be willing to lend your expertise? Absolutely, John. I'd be more than happy to help you with your presentation. Just send me the materials, and I'll make sure to review them thoroughly and provide constructive feedback. That would be fantastic, Anna. I truly value your insights and attention to detail. I'll send you the presentation right away. Your feedback will be invaluable in making it the best it can be. I appreciate your trust, John. Rest assured, I'll give it my full attention and provide you with honest and constructive feedback. Together, we'll make sure your presentation shines. Thank you, Anna. Your support means a lot to me. I know with your guidance, I can refine the content and deliver a compelling and impactful presentation. You're welcome, John. I'm glad I can be of assistance. Presentations can be nerve-wracking, but with thorough preparation and a well-crafted message, you'll do great. Your encouragement is uplifting, Anna. I'll take your advice to heart and put in the necessary effort to ensure a successful presentation. Your presence and support make a world of difference. I'm glad I can be there for you, John. It's important to have someone by your side during crucial moments. Remember, you're well prepared, and your expertise will shine through. You're absolutely right, Anna. Confidence and preparation are key. With your help, I feel even more prepared and ready to tackle any challenges that may arise. That's the spirit, John. Together, we'll make sure you have a compelling narrative, engaging visuals, and a confident delivery. Your audience will be captivated.
I couldn't ask for a better collaborator, Anna. Your guidance and expertise will elevate the quality of my presentation and help me connect with my audience on a deeper level. Thank you for your kind words, John. It's a pleasure to work with someone who values feedback and actively seeks ways to improve. I'm confident your presentation will be a success. Your belief in me means a lot, Anna. It motivates me to strive for excellence and deliver a presentation that leaves a lasting impact. I'm grateful to have you on my team. The feeling is mutual, John. I'm honored to be a part of your journey and contribute to your success. Together, we'll make this presentation an outstanding one. I couldn't ask for a better partner, Anna. Your support and expertise make a world of difference. Thank you for being there for me. Let's make today a remarkable one. It's my pleasure, John. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Let's make this day a memorable one by delivering an exceptional presentation. You've got this. Thank you, Anna. Your belief in me boosts my confidence. Now, let's dive into the work and create something extraordinary. I appreciate your help more than words can express.